Okay, now we're going to talk about intonation on this instrument. So I'm going to tune at the pitch. Okay, again, harmonic in the 12th fret. Fret the instrument in the 12th fret. Same thing in the B string. Fret the instrument. Okay, there we go. There, the B is a little flat. So what I'm going to do is take a screwdriver and turn the screw so I can shorten the length. Try it again. Okay. G. Same thing. It's running a little flat. So I'm going to take the screwdriver and turn it so the saddle's moving in the same direction that the needle is on the tuner. It's moving to the left. Okay, D. Remember, as you look at the tuner, and it's sitting in front of you, the same way it moves, if, the, if it's moving the needle instead of being straight on 12 o'clock, if it moves to the left, you need to move the saddle to the left. If it moves to the right, you need to move the saddle to the right. This is way out. Okay, there you have it, the guitar is intonated. Okay, here we have more of a traditional four bolt floating tremolo guitar. So the first thing is you can see this tremolo, instead of like the other one, had two pivots. This one has the six screws. Now you can adjust those six screws a lot of different ways to make the tremolo work better and just what some people do, what some people like. Some people take the middle four screws out. Some people raise the middle four screws. These are all things that if they work for you, do them. Try them. Can't hurt. Because every guitar is different and the key is to make the guitar function best for you and function best for which guitar you have because all guitars are different they're all a little bit different so I just wanted to show you that this also has the individual saddles the same as the other one and it also has the core in the back all the same ideas case okay, so what I want to point out it here is the truss rod adjustment is not here on some guitars it is on the completely other side of the neck. The truss rod adjustment is here, down at the other end of the neck. Now, to get to that, this is a little bit harder, you have to take the neck off. And because you have to take the neck off, you can't keep string tension. So it's kind of like you have to take it off, turn it with the direction you wanted it, to tighten or loosen it, put it back together, tune the pitch, and see if you get where it is. Sometimes you have to do it a couple of times. But this is something, the more you do it, the better feel you're going to get for how to do it. So I'm just going to take it apart right now and show you what that looks like. The first thing I'm going to do is flip it over. With the screw gun, take the four bolts out of the back plate. Now it's going to put the guitar completely out of tune, obviously, but that's all part of it. I didn't even loosen the strings. You can do that if you want. 
Okay, I got the screws completely out. I pop out the neck, and there it is. Okay, you can learn a lot about your guitar taking the neck off, since the day it was made, who inspected it, and all sorts of things. But the important thing is this right here. That's your truss rod adjustment. If you loosen it, you can do the same thing we did with the other one, and I'll do it for you quick. Take it completely off. This would be the guitar, the neck having the biggest bow you can possibly have in it. There it is. I'm going to put it back and I'm going to tighten it up. And for this you use a screwdriver. You could use a Phillips or a regular screwdriver. I tighten it up and I feel it when it starts to do something. Right there it got snug. The more I tighten it, the more it will straighten the neck, take relief out of the neck. Now like I said, on this kind of thing, you have to do it, try it, put it back together, tune it to pitch, and see where the relief is. You might have to take it off again, maybe again, until you get it where the neck is straight and you like it. Okay, here I have the neck off the guitar. You're looking in the pocket where the neck sits. And as we talked about before, this guitar doesn't have the adjustment. So if you need to change the neck angle and pitch it back, you have to put a shim in it. So what I'm going to do quickly here, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to take this card and I'm going to cut a piece off it. I'm going to make a shim. And you would lay the shim right here to pitch the neck back. The higher the shim, the more it's going to pitch. I've seen guitars where people have had nickels in them. I've seen with one piece of paper like this will make a difference. It all depends on the angle of the pocket to the neck. Everyone's a little bit different. As much as they try to make them the same, they're a little bit different. Doesn't mean it's good or bad, just different. Some people like different neck angles also, so you might put more. So try it with a piece of paper, try it with something thicker, try it with, you know, Whatever works is what you have to use. Doesn't matter what it is, it could be paper, cardboard, plastic, doesn't matter. As long as it does what it's supposed to do. This is, you know, you can't hurt anything doing this. So try it.